safeguarding law enforcement and student rights. University campuses have increasingly become battlegrounds for ideological clashes, drawing attention to the need for free speech protections and anti-bullying measures. Those advocating for the preservation of traditional educational values often find themselves aligned with these calls. But the question lingers, are campuses fostering an atmosphere where students can act authentically and with integrity? Or are they descending into environments where unchecked behavior leads to moral and societal decay? Uh, we're finding out tonight that Jewish uh, students on campus uh, at Columbia University are feeling under threat, Senator. What will your administration do with President Trump to protect students of all political beliefs and, and, and persuasions on college campuses feeling safe? You know, Laura, it's very simple. We're going to enforce the law. Nobody gets the right to harass their fellow students. Nobody gets the right to set up 10 encampments and turn their college campuses into garbage dumps. And nobody gets the right to block their fellow students from attending class. This is not rocket science, Laura. You just need to enforce the law, whether it's, it's anti-Jewish bigotry or any other form of bigotry. Just enforce the law. Make the crazy people protest within the First Amendment and within the legal frameworks that are appropriate. And so long as you do that, these college campuses are going to be fine. What's happened, Laura, is a lot of these administrators in the name of woke politics have allowed these college students to break the law, to turn yeah. the campuses into garbage dumps, to harass their fellow students. Just stop it. Enforce the law. Let everybody speak their mind, but do it without harassing your fellow students. It's not hard. Senator. J.D. Vance's assertion that law and order must prevail on college campuses underscores the importance of personal responsibility and social order. Many in the public hold that society cannot function without rules and boundaries. His statement, no one has the right to block yellow students from attending class, resonates with those who prioritize individual freedom, a cornerstone of conservative thought. Vance's push to eliminate chaotic tent encampments and destructive protests reflects a broader conservative belief that individual liberties must not infringe upon the rights of others. These disturbances are often seen by the public as a consequence of progressive or woke policies, with issues like harassment and anti-Semitism on campuses viewed as symptoms of a larger cultural and moral crisis. The criticism that administrators have allowed students to break the law targets what many perceive as weak or ideologically skewed progressive leadership. 